We're here in Brussels. The NATO summit just underway. As you say, they just wrapped up that welcoming ceremony. We saw the president of the United States standing between uh, Jens Stoltenberg, the general secretary of NATO, and Theresa May, the really embattled prime minister of Great Britain there uh, at the, on the reviewing stand at the opening ceremony. The president arrived here uh, just a few moments ago at NATO headquarters. We also saw Angela Merkel walking into NATO headquarters amid those tensions uh, around the president's comments from this morning. The the president laid out a very stark criticism of the Germans, saying that the Germans are really allowing themselves to be controlled by Russia because of an oil pipeline that runs from Russia to Germany that's been in the works for a number of years and that previous administrations have complained about. Here's what the president said in remarks that really rattled a number of the ministers here at NATO this morning. If you look at it, Germany is a captive of Russia because they supply. They got rid of their coal plants. They got rid of their nuclear. They're getting so much of the oil and gas from Russia. I think it's something that NATO has to look at. I think it's very inappropriate. So the president there saying it's very inappropriate, saying that Germany is a captive of Russia. The president really now criticizing the Germans for the very thing that he's been criticized by many of the Europeans for himself, which is being too close to Russia or being controlled effectively by Russia. The defense minister from Germany responded nearly immediately this morning uh, on camera. Here's what she had to say. I do not really understand what he means by that. <laughs> Hard to say. But in general, um, Yes, yes, uh, if there's a country and a region who has uh, seen the change in Russian behavior, then it is Europe, and within Europe it is Germany, of course. So the Germans there saying that they've been tougher on Russia than the United States has. We'll wait and see what happens when the president meets with Angela Merkel. That's scheduled for later on today. They are saying right now that that's not going to be open and on camera for the media to cover. So we might not see the interaction between Angela Merkel and Donald Trump. I'm sure reporters on the site are going to press to get some access to that. And we'll see if we can see some of the body language between those two leaders. But a confrontational start here, guys, to this NATO summit. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.